Well, I, I mean, I, at this point, Luke, I, I guess it's official, right? I mean, it's not official, official, but it is official, right? You're, you're, you're fighting for the title. Official. Now we just need a fight date. You know, uh, I got my fingers crossed for Madison Square Garden. I heard we got a vote next week, and uh, so, you know, hope, I'm just hoping for the best. What was the waiting game like? Because, I mean, all of us were, were following along, trying to figure out what was going to happen. What was that like during that time? Uh, it was a little nerve-wracking. Uh, I just had to stay positive and confident I was going to get it. Uh, staying in Dana's ear and Lorenzo texting him, letting him know, like state my case, just let him know how hungry I am. I believed it was, was going to be mine. I really, really did. Um, I, I, you know, I know just, just to tell him, you know, look, I'm going I'm to go out there and I'm going to put on a fight and let him know, you know, where I stand and what I want. And, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a show, so I think that's what they really they really want to hear. And obviously, there's a lot of issues they're they're trying to work out to uh, to make uh, the big fights happen in the in the right areas. So uh, you know, I'm hoping they can pull it off. You know, I think that's what the key in, in this whole waiting game is, uh, is is obviously the the date and location. I guess the the great thing, Madison Square Garden, that's a fantastic location date. The bad thing is it's it's a long wait. I mean, is, was there any part of you that thought, man, maybe we should do this thing a little sooner so we can get this fight going? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, that was a, definitely a thought, um, but it's. I understand it's a risk too. Obviously, to risk that that stage, and I know that we're a great matchup to go in there and to start it off, kick it off. Uh, you know, I'm Cali, Cali versus New York, East Coast, West Coast, two All American guys. It's a it's a great way to, to kick off New York. So uh, you know, I, I see that, and you know, great things are worth waiting for. And uh, you know, as much as I want to get in there early, so I don't know. I. Let's do an ultimate fighter. <laughs> uh, I think that get, keep me busy, keep me distracted, and then we could uh, then get the whole public. New York versus California, and then you'll have the whole undercard. Ultimate fighter. We got time. Let's push it. Let's do this. Let's get it on. Not a bad idea at all. I like that actually. Uh, I'm curious on your thoughts on Chris Weidman. Michael Bisping actually came out this week and said he thinks a lot of Chris's success has been circumstantial. You know, there were asterisks next to the Anderson Silva victories, Machida, Vitor Belfort. What do you think? I mean, is Chris the real deal, or do you think he's gotten some good fortune along the way? I, I mean, you can look at it like that, but uh, you know, Chris is, is the best fighter out there right now, other than myself. And uh, you know, I think he's proved himself as as, as as the guy. I mean, he went out there and dominated Anderson both times before either incident happened. Uh, I mean, he almost knocked him out in the second fight. Machida, he proved himself. I know how tough Machida is, and uh, uh, and Vitor. <laughs> yeah, I, I expected that. I mean, but you know, I, that didn't prove anything to me. I already knew who he was before that. Um, I, I know he's a very tough guy. He's the champ, but he's gonna face a different beast when you know come come our fight. I know that you're a guy that likes to enjoy your time outside of the cage, surf a little bit, you know, have a good time, travel. Do you, can you do that in this interim while you're waiting, or do you feel like with a title shot on the line, you got to do things differently in the meantime? Uh, yeah. I definitely think about what I'm doing, but I gotta stick to my guns and I gotta enjoy myself a little bit on the outside. Uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm taking care of my body. I'm realizing, you know, my I'm getting older and I, and, and I've taken I'm not getting out of shape these days. I'm I'm really trying to uh, take care of my body in every way I can outside. So uh, without burning myself out and training too hard, uh, finding other ways to, to stay motivated and, and uh, to stay in shape. So I enjoy myself a little bit. I've been eating, eating good out here in Mexico, but uh, you know, I, you know, I definitely incorporating a couple salads here and there. Nice. Well, when this fight does come together, whether it be Madison Square Garden or somewhere else, what do you think we're going to see? Are we going to see you go in and dominate, prove yourself as the number one fighter in the world? You think we're going to see a, you know a battle and the start of an epic trilogy, maybe between you guys? Or you know, what, do you, what are you envisioning in your mind? I don't believe this is the first. I don't believe this is the last time that me and Chris will fight. Uh, I think we're the next level above everybody else in the division. Uh, I think we're gonna f we're gonna probably have multiple fights. Um, I think I just don't see what Chris brings to the table that I don't I don't bring better. You know, other than his his wrestling, I'll give him an edge in the wrestling. But he takes me down, he's gonna find himself in more trouble than he was than he is on the feet. Uh, you know, I think I'm I'm more technical. I have more weapons on the feet. I think I hit harder. I think I'm faster. I got more finesse. I, I, I got a lot of avenues he's going to have a tough time with. Chris is a tough dude. I know he's going to hang in there with me. I think he's going to bring the best out of me. Um, people want to question me and like say Chris's will is going to overcome me. You don't know me. You don't. You haven't seen my fights in Strike Force. You haven't. You haven't seen who I am. And you know, I, I think Chris is going to bring that out of me. I'm excited for this fight. It's going to be a war. 
I, I believe I'm going to come out on top. I believe I'm going to finish him. I, I know, I know, I'm, you know, I know what I'm capable of, and, and uh, I'm excited to go out there and perform and show the world.